irrigation season is upon us, but do you know how much water your lawn really needs? Or if your sprinkler system is doing a good job, a free audit could keep you from throwing money down the drain. The program is called Slow the Flow. Arvada partners with the Center for Resource Conservation to provide the audit at no charge to homeowners and businesses that receive Arvada water. Arvada homeowner Mark Mangrum let us tag along on his audit with Irrigation Tech with Harlan. All right, Mr. Mangrum. So I'm going to be doing your irrigation audit today. It should take about an hour and a half. We can go ahead and take a look at your control clock. I'll record the current schedule and then we can get started with the visual inspection. My backyard wasn't, it didn't seem to be um, water as well as my front yard. And I was concerned maybe that some of my sprinkler heads weren't adjusted right. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to get uh, somebody who knew what they were doing to come out and look at it. All right, so for the most part, your system looks like it's in really good shape. Just a few minor tilted and sunken heads around the yard. It's a, it's a really common thing that I see. Um, so now I'll go ahead, I'll do the catch cup test. That'll tell me how much water your system's putting out and how evenly it's being distributed. I'm gonna let this zone run for five minutes. Then I'll go back and I'll collect the volumes from each of these cups. Uh, and that'll tell me how much water the system's putting out and how evenly it's being distributed. While the catch cups do their work, Witt takes measurements of the front and back yards. So right now I'm taking a rough landscape measurement to give me an idea of about how much water Mr. Mangrum should be using throughout the course of his irrigation season. You should be using just over 35,000 gallons of water each irrigation season. And like I mentioned, that's a good number just to keep in your back pocket. Um, if you see yourself going over that, it's a good indication that you have a leak or are watering inefficiently. It's not just about money though. We would like the lawns to stay looking beautiful as well. Um, and so we focus on conserving water as well as keeping the turf looking great. As Witt gets back to recording volumes from the catch cups, more is learned. The average of these uh, volumes will tell me the precipitation rate and the distribution of these volumes will tell me the distribution uniformity. He also checks the water pressure and adjusts sprinkler heads if needed. And last but not least, he takes a soil sample. The soil sample will tell us how many cycles we should be running it for in order to prevent any runoff or unnecessary evaporation. So you can see here, it's definitely, definitely clay. You and basically the rest of Colorado have this type of soil. So we'll be running it for three cycles. 90 minutes later, with all the measurements in, homeowner Mark Mangrum gets the good news. His sprinkler system just needed minor adjustments, and he has a new watering schedule that will keep his lawn healthy. We're going to have you watering two days a week and three times each day. Witt recommends watering each of the six zones for seven minutes at a time, about an hour apart, for three cycles. What time would you like to start watering? Uh, midnight. Midnight? Great. All right, so we'll have three cycles starting at midnight, so midnight one, two. Great. And it'll be going on Monday and Thursday. And I'll get that programmed in for you. In the last few years, we've seen drought in Colorado, so I think it's important to um, be conservative with water, and it's also, you know, saves on the water bill, so it's a win-win situation. Indeed. Up to 80% of irrigation system owners could be overwatering, according to the Center for Resource Conservation. And we found that the residential homes, on average, uh, each year save about 5,000 gallons of water per year. And as Mark found, investing just a couple of hours for the Slow the Flow audit gives peace of mind. I think it went well. Yeah, I learned a lot and I found out my system's working pretty good, so I'm happy about that. Again, homeowners as well as businesses that receive water from the city of Arvada qualify for the Slow the Flow program. If you'd like more information, you can contact the Center for Resource Conservation at conservationcenter.org.